Hello and welcome. I'm Rachel Marie of Sleepy Santosha and today's practice is a restorative yoga practice. So we're going to be spending prolonged periods of time in each posture so that we can really melt down into each pose and really completely relax. Restorative yoga utilizes props to support the body to really facilitate that relaxation. So you're going to need a few things for today's practice. First, make sure you have a yoga bolster. If you do not, you could substitute a couple large pillows. You'll also need a couple blankets. You might want to have an extra one on hand if you get cold easily. Restorative yoga is a very cooling practice. So also make sure you're dressed warm enough. Maybe put on a pair of socks. You're also going to need a neck roll pillow. If you do not have one of these, you could also roll up a towel and it works exactly the same way. And you'll also need a couple smaller pillows as well. If essential oils are a part of your yoga practice, I would highly recommend diffusing Stress Away from Young Living. I've got that going in my diffuser right over here. And if you're new to essential oils and you'd like some more information, I will leave a link in the description box below so you can check that out too. Thank you for joining me today. Let's get started. We'll begin in supported child's pose. Take one of your blankets and place it underneath your knees and shins for extra cushion. And place another blanket between your heels and your bottom, creating a slight elevation in the hips. Line up your bolster vertically along your mat and bring it between your knees. Walk your hands forward so that your belly, chest, and left cheek come to rest on your bolster. Inhale deeply through the nose, breathing into the back body. And exhale once through your mouth, letting all your weight sink into the support of the bolster. Release all tension in the neck and shoulders and let the arms rest gently beside the bolster. There should be no muscle engagement in this pose. Let the earth hold you up. If you feel the need to adjust or add any props, please feel free to do so. We are going to rest here for quite some time, so please make sure you are comfortable. As we practice today, as the body finds stillness, let the mind also find stillness and rest. Let this practice be an oasis, a safe haven from the busyness of life. Calming the mind in these static poses can be challenging. If you feel your thoughts start to wander, you may wish to focus the mind on a mantra, such as, I am held, I am supported, I am home.
please turn your head to the opposite side, letting the right cheek rest on the bolster. Again, take a deep inhale through the nose and exhale once through the mouth, letting go of all tension you might be holding in the neck or shoulders. Walk your hands back and come up to sit. Pausing for just a moment. Then remove the blankets and set them aside, but leave your bolster where it is. Turn around and press your low back up against the end of your bolster. Bring your feet together as though you're preparing for bound angle pose and place a pillow underneath each of your knees. To lessen the sensation of this stretch, you may move the feet further away from the body. If you chill easily, you may wish to cover up the lower body with a blanket at this time. Slowly lean back and let your spine rest along the bolster. If this is too intense a back bend, you may stack a couple blankets underneath the top end of your bolster to create a less intense angle. Find what feels good for you. Let the hands fall open to the side, creating space in the chest. Soften through the belly, 
and let each breath fill you with peace, guiding you back home to your body.
Take one last deep inhale in Sukta Baddha Konasana. And on your exhale, bring the knees together. Roll over to the left side and come up to sit. Put your pillows, blankets, and bolster off to the side. Our next pose, legs up the wall pose. You may choose to practice without props, but I like to use a folded blanket to create a slight inversion, which is excellent for the lymphatic system. To come into this pose, place your folded up blanket next to the wall. Sitting next to the blanket, line your right hip up against the wall and roll yourself over to the right onto your back, swinging your legs up onto the wall and scooting yourself as close as possible. Make sure your low back is resting squarely on the blanket. Let your hands rest on the low belly, creating an anchor for mind and body. If your mind starts to wander, bring it back to the present moment with kindness and gentleness. I am held. I am supported. I am home.
your next exhale, draw your knees down into your chest, pointing, then flexing the feet to work out any stiffness. And then roll yourself over to the left side and come up to sit. Moving slowly and with ease, come into Shavasana, final relaxation. Place your bolster horizontally across the mat underneath your knees, which will take the pressure off your low back. You may wish to cover up with a blanket or two so that you don't become chilled while in Shavasana. Take your neck pillow or rolled up towel and place it underneath your neck, creating a slight arch in your neck. This undoes the stress of looking down at our phones, tablets, and computers all day long. Let your body completely relax into the support of the bolsters here. Your hands may rest out by your sides, or you may choose to rest one hand on the low belly and one on your heart, again creating an anchor for mind and body, drawing the awareness inward. I am held. I am supported. I am home.
when you are ready, begin to move your fingers and toes. Perhaps make some circles with your ankles, with your wrists, and then slowly roll yourself over to the side and come up to sit. As you transition back into your day, carry this peace with you. Thank you so much for being here today. Namaste.